Hi, I'm Molly Sheets. I have not recorded myself doing anything like this in a very long time, um, but I'm doing it because it's a topic I'm very passionate about and I thought it would be better to talk about it than write about it. Um, so this will be a really short video, but this topic is on living by your personal leadership principles. And at Amazon, I called them personal tenants because at Amazon, uh, every org and overall um, has tenants. And that is used to primarily help organizations make decisions. So you know a tenant is bad if you can't actually use it to make a very critical or pivotal decision. And at almost every company in the world, uh, the same applies to the company's leadership principles. And I used to tell people when situations got really complicated, like there was an industry trend happening that what you have to do is identify if that trend or that major overarching narr narrative actually aligns with either your org or your leadership principles. But what we often don't talk about are our personal leadership principles and, and why that matters. And I'm, I'm bringing it up because I'm actually going through uh, like my own personal exercise to identify are mine still the same. I had four that I used to openly share um, with people at Amazon. Uh, one of those was words are power. And what I meant by that was I believed anything, and I, and I know this to be true, uh, that I wrote could be shared or used without credit, um, which I was fine with, um, but that is both good and dangerous. It means what you put on paper really, really matters because if people copy it or put it into other papers, or if they uh, use it in press or, or in any other way in a blog, uh, that data needs to be accurate. What you say, your perspective needs to be really well informed because it will be used at big companies. Um, it also means that what you say about other people, both privately and in uh, promotional um, systems and that sort of stuff really matter. Any feedback mechanisms really matter and uh, will be used to help those people. So I, I really believe in, in systems and tools for good, um, but I also believe that uh, the tool is not where you learn to do those things. So if you, for example, don't feel comfortable writing an email to a manager to say, hey, this person's really amazing, a tool is not gonna fix that. Um, so words are power was a really important tenant for me because it's something I lived by uh, and believed in. And I also um, felt that if you weren't careful with those things, if you didn't make a decision on what to write or what not to write, um, then you weren't really living by that leadership principle. There are in the avenues of security and governance and architecture, things that should probably never be written on paper because even in uh, the highest security environments, anything you write down has an element of risk. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, it, it's something that I live by and there are things that will always stay up here. Um, <laughs> aside from that, I had other tenants I lived by too and I am revisiting all of them. Um, I try to keep them to four or five because I actively share them to help people know how I personally make decisions. And you can have career tenants, but you can also have personal tenants. And I didn't really separate those two things. Um, as part of my life now, I'm in my mid thirties and really like reevaluating what matters to me on both sides and looking at them as completely separate things because in February, we had like a lot of personal stuff going on for us that we needed to to get through. Um, my husband was going through a job change, his grandmother died, and I resigned because I felt like I just needed to slow down in a major way. Um, I didn't even know like some of that stuff was gonna happen at the time, so it's really grateful I had slowed down. But it's important time for me to reflect before I step into my new role anywhere, what do I now believe? And we don't obviously give ourselves a lot of time to sit down and assess like who am I as a person, it's really important to do that because who you are is your authentic self that you have to live by and you'll never find your people if you don't put out there your authentic self. And that is a hard lesson I had to learn pretty much in February because I actually didn't want to tell 
uh, anyone I was about to resign. I didn't want to say that there was all this personal stuff going on in my life um, because it actually all happened within like a 24 hour period, not the, the resigning part, but the, the COVID death in our family did. Um, and I just really didn't know what to do. And so I think it's really, really important to put out your authentic self because this is what my husband said. He said, if you don't, you'll never find your people. And that resonated with me so much because I didn't realize who my people were anymore. Um, sometimes you have to think and say, what makes me the happiest? Like what architectures make me the happiest? What um, languages make me the happiest? What beliefs make me the happiest? And the only way to find those people is to put what you're truly feeling, your authentic, transparent self out there. So end of story. Um, I'm going to hit six minutes in a second. I am sharing this because I think it's really important for anyone to sit down and take, take an hour to say, what are my personal tenets and how do I make decisions both in my career and my personal life? And then don't feel like you can't share them. I do think it's important to be careful with who you share your tenants with because some people will, will use them if they know you live by them in ways that maybe you didn't in anticipate. They're essentially rule systems for yourself. Um, so, so do be careful with that, share them with people you trust, but get feedback on them and make sure like from your closest friends, they think like, yeah, that's that's you and your real authentic self and you're, you're finally living it. So anyway, I'll let y'all know what those are because they're changing for me. Oh, bye.